Hi, in this video we're going to show you the importance of protecting your water system from contamination by using Fluid Category 5 products. Typical applications where you would install a Category 5 product are dentists, science labs, bin washers, bin stores. Please see full list of applications. Keep watching for a short demonstration explaining the difference between potable and Category 5 applications. I'm now going to demonstrate how back siphonage can happen in a typical potable application. So, we have outlets coming off the tank, you'd normally have a booster set breaking this in between here. But these are going to your toilets, your sinks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to introduce a hose pipe to this end connection. So I've now introduced a hose pipe and let's say this hose pipe was in an abattoir and this could be blood or a hose pipe off a science lab tap and it could be chemicals or it could be in a bucket where you've washed down the bins at a, at a factory where they're washing down the floor area this could be left in a bucket outside how back siphonage can happen is if you have a major leak in the street on the cold water main or the fire brigade connect their hoses to put out a fire in the street back siphonage can happen when you have a faulty overflow and then you have a faulty ball valve. I've now added a valve to the overflow simulating a blockage on the overflow and we're now going to fail the ball valve in the tank. As you can now see we've now simulated a blocked overflow and a faulty ball valve. So when there's a leak in the street or the fire brigade again are connecting onto the cold water main, this, these chemicals that have come from the hose pipe in the bucket, in the abattoir, in the science lab, in the bin wash can now make its way back up the hose, through the various connections and back into the tank, coming up through the water in the tank and then back flowing down the cold water main contaminating the water. So what we're now going to do, after we've shown you this, we're now going to introduce a Category 5 or a Fluid Category 5 tank. We've now got the same scenario set up with the hose pipe into the bucket with the chemicals or the blood, but now we've introduced a Category 5 tank, which as you can see has a weir on the front. We've got a blocked overflow and now a faulty ball valve. Overflow blocked. As you can see the water level now is over the overflow. The faulty ball valve. And in a minute you'll see. So this weir has been sized suitable for this tank. So now you can see it coming out of the weir of the side of the tank and it's not reaching the ball valve level and any chance of water getting back into the cold water main because it's overflowing out of the side of the weir on the tank. So if there was any chance of any chemical back siphoning from the hose pipe back into the tank there is no way that it's going to get down the coal main as previously stated it will just come out the way of the side of the tank. Thanks for watching our demonstration video. Please see link below for cases where cross contamination has occurred. If you need more help with your CAT5 requirements please call 033 323 2329 or visit our website and see the Cat5 tank section and Cat5 boosting section. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel now and get more up-to-date Cat5 product videos.
that will be coming soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching.